So, Thatcher. I mean, yes, she may have caused record unemployment. Yes, she may have closed the mines. Yes, she may have called Nelson Mandela a terrorist. Yes, she may have demonized gay people. Yes, she may have stolen milk off of children. But say what you want about her, she looked damn good in blue. Also, she was a bastard with conviction. Moving swiftly on from topical politics, a few weeks ago, myself and a friend went into Toys R Us where we found this stuff. They're basically microscopic Lego blocks. So I thought, why not have a go at building it? Nanoblock, micro-sized building blocks. Here's its slogan. The smaller it is, the more realistic the work becomes. This amazingly small micro-sized block makes it possible to create even more detailed and even smaller projects than can what be made with standard-sized blocks. Detailed compared to what exactly? Nanoblock is a stimulating and entertaining hobby material for everybody, especially for grown-ups. Well, now you know. Since having given birth to this yellow and brown pixelated giraffe, I have found out a few minor design flaws with this thing. They basically just disintegrate. It's as if they're made out of slightly larger sand. Also, I love the audacity of the claim that the smaller it becomes, the more realistic. Those are the most soulless eyes I've ever seen in my life. The giraffes are pretty bad as well. So yeah, if you wanted to get one of these, or one of its many, many variants, then go on Amazon and look up Nanoblock. Um, or you can go to Toys R Us where they'll be a bit more expensive. Before I go, I want to quickly tell you about a project which I'm going to be starting over the summer. Last summer, the project was 10 green bottles, and I've heard back that the last two episodes will be released eventually. Over the summer, I'm planning to start up a new channel. Well, I say that, I've already actually started it up. It's called Recipe Road Test, I'll leave a link in the screen right now. Basically, the premise is, you know how every single cookery show worth its apron says that every recipe they make is easy, simple, quick, cheap, all the rest of it to try and entice you in. And then you give it a go and you're kind of like, this is actually not all that easy. Well, the point of my channel is going to be to actually test these recipes out and see how difficult they actually are. I mean, we're going to be evaluating how the food ultimately is, how it looks and things like that. We're also going to be evaluating how long it takes, how much it costs, and just whether it was actually simple, or whether it's actually quite complicated just made to sound simple. We've got chefs and cooks that have been doing this as a job professionally for about 30 or 40 years in some cases. So to them, a lot of these things is going to be second nature. So they're going to think it's easy. So if you want to see more of me, then make sure you go and subscribe to the new channel. See you next Thursday. Tough watching.